This video will cover moderate questions regarding the topic of higher order derivatives. Question 1. y prime equals 1 over 1 plus x squared. Then we can rewrite as 1 plus x squared to the power of minus 1. y second prime is using the power rule and chain rule. Minus 1 plus x squared to the power of minus 2 times 1 plus x squared prime equals minus 1 plus x squared to the power of minus 2 times 2x equals minus 2x times 1 plus x squared to the power of minus 2. We can rewrite as minus 2x over 1 plus x squared squared. Y third prime is using the quotient rule minus 2x prime times 1 plus x squared then squared minus minus 2x times 1 plus x squared squared prime over 1 plus x squared to the power of 4 equals minus 2 times 1 plus x squared then squared plus 2x times using the chain rule 2 times 1 plus x squared times 1 plus x squared prime over 1 plus x squared to the power of 4. Then we can cancel 1 plus x squared on each side equals minus 2 times 1 plus x squared plus 2x times 2 times 1 plus x squared prime is 2x over 1 plus x squared cubed equals we can expand minus 2 minus 2x squared plus 8x squared over 1 plus x squared cubed equals 6x squared minus 2 over 1 plus x squared cubed. Or we can rewrite as take out 2, then 3x squared minus 1 over 1 plus x squared cubed. Question 2. Using the product rule, y prime equals e to the power of x prime times sine of x plus e to the power of x times sine of x prime equals e to the power of x times sine of x plus e to the power of x times cosine of x. Then we can factor, take out e to the power of x times sine of x plus cosine of x. Y second prime equals Using the product rule, e to the power of x prime times sine of x plus cosine of x plus e to the power of x times sine of x plus cosine of x prime equals e to the power of x times sine of x plus cosine of x plus e to the power of x times cosine of x minus sine of x. Then we can factor e to the power of x times sine of x plus cosine of x plus cosine of x minus sine of x. Then cancelled. Answer is 2 e to the power of x times cosine of x. Why so the prime equals 2 e to the power of x prime times cosine of x plus 2 e to the power of x times cosine of x prime equals 2 e to the power of x times cosine of x plus 2 e to the power of x times minus sine of x. Then we can factor 2 e to the power of x times cosine of x minus sine of x y fourth derivative is 2 e to the power of x prime times cosine of x minus sine of x plus 2 e to the power of x times 
cosine of x minus sine of x prime equals 2 e to the power of x times cosine of x minus sine of x plus 2 e to the power of x times minus sine of x minus cosine of x. Then we can factor 2 e to the power of x times cosine of x minus sine of x minus sine of x minus cosine of x equals 2 e to the power of x times cancelled minus 2 sine of x. The final answer is minus 4 e to the power of x times sine of x. Question 3. Differentiate implicitly 2x plus 2y times y prime equals 0. 2y y prime equals minus 2x. Then y prime equals minus x over y. Using the quotient rule, y second prime is minus x prime times y minus minus x times y prime over y squared equals minus 1 times y plus x times y prime was minus x over y over y squared equals minus y minus x squared over y over y squared then times y on each side equals minus y squared minus x squared over y to the power of 3. We can rewrite as minus y squared plus x squared over y cubed equals minus x squared plus y squared was 4 over y cubed. y second prime is, we can rewrite as minus 4 y to the power of minus 3. y third prime is 12 y to the power of minus 4 times y prime equals 12 over y to the power of 4 times minus x over y equals minus 12x over y to the power of 5. Then y fourth prime is, using the quotient rule, minus 12x prime times y to the power of 5 minus minus 12x times y to the power of 5 prime over y to the power of 5 squared equals minus 12 y to the power of 5 plus 12x times 5y to the power of 4 times y prime over y to the power of 10 equals minus 12y to the power of 5 plus 60x y to the power of 4 times y prime was minus x over y over y to the power of 10 equals minus 12y to the power of 5 minus 60 x squared cancelled y cubed over y to the power of 10 then divide by y cubed on each side then we can factor take out minus 12 then y squared plus 5 x squared over y to the power of 7 question 4 Using the quotient rule, f prime of x equals 4x plus 1 prime times 3x minus 4 minus 4x plus 1 times 3x minus 4 prime over 3x minus 4 squared equals 4 times 3x minus 4 minus 4x plus 1 times 3 over 3x minus 4 squared equals expand 12x minus 16 minus 12x minus 3 over 3x minus 4 squared equals cancelled minus 19 over 
3x minus 4 squared, then it can be write as minus 19 times 3x minus 4 to the power of minus 2. At the second prime of x is 38 times 3x minus 4 to the power of minus 3 times 3x minus 4 prime equals 38 times 3x minus 4 to the power of minus 3 times 3. Then we can rewrite as 114 over 3x minus 4 cubed. Then f second prime of 1 equals 114 over 3 minus 4 cubed equals 114 over minus 1 cubed. The final answer is minus 114. Question 5. Using the chain rule, f prime of x equals differentiate the outer function first, then differentiate the inner function. f second prime of x equals using the product rule d dx of g prime of h of x times h prime of x plus g prime of h of x times d dx of h prime of x equals the first one differentiate the outer function first times the differentiate the inner function times h prime of x plus g prime of h of x times h second prime of x. The final answer is g second prime of h of x times h prime of x squared plus g prime of h of x times h second prime of x. This is the last one. y prime is cosine of x, y second prime is minus the sine of x, y third prime is minus the cosine of x, y fourth prime is sine of x, y fifth prime is cosine of x, y sixth prime is minus the sine of x, y seventh prime is minus cosine of x, y eighth prime is sine of x, y ninth prime is cosine of x, y tenth prime is minus sine of x. Then go on. As you can see, it's periodic. It repeats again every four terms. Compare the number of derivatives when the number of derivatives is divided by 4 and the remainder is 1. The answer is the same as the first derivative. If the remainder is 2, it is the same as the second derivative. Then 2021 divided by 4 is 1. This means it is the same as the first derivative of the function, which is cosine of x. Therefore, y2021 derivative is cosine of x. I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in a comment below, and I will address them in a future video. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more.